All right, do you want to open this up? Uh, yeah. Okay, go for it. Uh, so welcome back to Definitely Not Develop Developer Commentary. I'm Tony Garcia. And I'm Mike Stout. And here we are with the second half of, I don't know what this name, what this planet is. Viceron Zordoom. There's another, there's another very ratchety name. <laughs> All right. So uh, did I miss some crates? I totally missed some crates. Do you know if there's another Zircon? Will I have another chance to buy things? Uh, I do not recall. Probably, because you're about to just go back through uh, the prison. So if we pay, uh, if we end up playing any challenge mode, uh, I could, you know, maybe use it then. Who knows? Oh, that's interesting. So I came through here and now I'm going backwards through it. Yeah. I like that. Those are not. It's not easy to design a level like that. Because you don't want it to feel like the same thing. Oh, I guess I can't go that way. <laughs> okay, cutscene. The thugs are on my side? Oh, I've always dreamed of this. Uh, all right, hang on. How do I change the... Uh, the... There we go. Okay, I want... Uh, wait, do I move these around or do I just pick them from the... So you choose the weapon and then you choose where to place it. Oh, I see. Okay, so over here I'll choose the... Uh, I want the new one I got, the Bombardier. And then I remap weapon and go to... I want instead of the shield weapon. Okay, cool. And then Black Hole Storm I want instead of... The blaster and then the blaster. I'm glad we're starting it off with this riveting content for everybody. There. Okay. It looks like I didn't have to move the blaster. I think it moved it itself. Uh, where's the bomb over here? There we go. All right. Cool. So, uh, what do you want to talk about this time? Uh, yeah, so I think I want to go back to just other sort of things. Uh, and I actually want to talk about one of the things that we haven't talked too much about that I actually did really appreciate in this thing, which was the um, the little side rifts with the armor collectibles in there. Uh, I thought those were great. We haven't talked too much about them because we kind of just speed through them. But uh, The side rifts? The, yeah, the ones where, like, the, the yeah. little platforming puzzles that they had in there. Uh, I thought it was awesome. I, I'm a really big fan of those. But to, I, it reminds me of way back when I was playing uh, Super Mario. One of the Super, I think it was Galaxy. Maybe it was Mario Sunshine, um, where they had like these little side mini games where they did like the side-scrolling 2D Mario things, where they were just like really yeah. simple platform puzzles. Um, they were reminiscent of that to me. They were just like little, little things that they broke out. Keeping the platformer stuff in Ratchet because there was there wasn't a lot of platforming stuff in the main gameplay on the critical path. So the fact that they were able to break it out into those little things where they were able to actually design just really tight platforming puzzles for you to go through, um, or they even did a lot of really creative stuff. Like the, the one that I that stands out to me that I really liked was one where you have to actually platform on a bunch of exploding crates uh, go through. I think they also like. Managed to showcase a lot of really interesting stuff with the um, with the with the wall run boots and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they, they managed to, I think those were really great because they managed to showcase a lot of the uh, side gadgets in ways that might have been too difficult to put on their pistol pass, but still let them like sort of stretch their legs and do some really interesting stuff, um, which was really great because that the, the, that's the kind of stuff. Anything that's like super difficult to do, yeah, you don't want to throw on the critical path. So yeah. finding a way to, to get, put that stuff in there, uh, I thought was great. And uh, it's uh, uh, it's it's always nice when you can allow the player to opt into uh, something, especially with alternate gameplay. And that's sort of what it feels like with the rifts, right? Is you can you can opt into doing some of the that the harder stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I am really not doing well, but that's because you're distracting me. Stop distracting me. Um, what was I saying? The side rifts and having the opt-in. Yeah, I like I, 
I like that. And then like for Ratchet, the platforming has always been kind of the side feature. Uh, so it makes sense that, you know, you can get some, some neat, tight uh, uh, platforming challenges in there and just let people choose to do it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I really like, I, I, I was a big fan of that. Uh, like I said, it's not something I think we talked about too much, but I think they did a really solid job with those. And, uh, I was a big fan. I'm glad that they, uh, they took the time for it. It's astonishing how small Ratchet's prison is. Come on, kid, say something. I have no ideas. I really? Because you... Rivet. Warning. Riot in progress. Eagle gas protocol activated. Oh, no. The room is filling with gas. Hold your breath. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ratchet, quickly, get us out of here. Hit those buttons to open the door. Oh, I have to hit them with my hitting. Okay. Because of the gas. I don't think I realized that was on a timer. <laughs> Focus. I thought she was my friend, but she's a liar, liar, pants on fire. She seems to deeply regret it. Now keep moving. Maybe. <laughs> They really wrap up the intensity for this level, I gotta say. Yeah. You're gonna have to come up with... It gets very, it gets very chaotic here, which was, uh, it, it was, which was a lot to play through. So yeah, I, I can kind of see where you're, uh, where it could be a struggle. Yeah, you're gonna have to come up with the fun things to talk about. Because... So I mean, I, so I have one other sort of uh, thing. Uh, Go for it. I'm gonna focus. A, do you have a favorite weapon? What was your favorite weapon that you uh, that you came through on this one? Probably the large negatron I'm collider. I'm actually with you 100%. Yeah, the next, I the really liked that weapon. Fucking awesome. Quickly, we must uh, slingshot badass. onto that evacuation platform. It's just, it's so, it's so nice having both the, the ability to sweep the, the field and to like just focus it on one thing for a big burst of yeah. energy. It's just that versatility I thought was really. And the effect is great. Yep. The feedback is great. Like everything about that weapon is just a huge success as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, this one was awesome. I was a big fan of this one. Like, and it, like as it leveled up, you can see it getting more powerful, and it like it changes. It, this one was just, I think that I think the large Negatron Collider is the perfect ratchet weapon. Like this is exactly the kind of thing you want to see, right? It's big, showy, it's flashy, uh, it's really useful. It has a lot of application. Um, yeah, this one, I think that one knocked it out of the park. Agreed. At this point, I think we just had. I, I remember this was a this was a tough fight, so I think I'm, I'm gonna let you just uh, enjoy the fight, and we can go back to just commenting about sort of what's going on here. But uh, this I thought was really fun. Really like the shotgun weapon. Uh, I didn't at first because I didn't realize that it was for lots of enemies. Uh huh. Uh, but I eventually came to enjoy it. Okay, 
Do I have to kill those dropships too? Okay. I actually found myself becoming a big fan of the sniper rifle uh, when I used it. I, I like that weapon a lot, which I didn't expect to like too much. Because of um, the slow mo. Yeah. Well, the slow mo wasn't super useful. It was just it was just strong. It was a very very powerful weapon. You could one shot most enemies uh, with it by the end. I like the depth of field stuff they do when you're when you're in this weapon. Like they the thing yeah. the thing you're pointing at has the focus and then they blur out the background. It it helps a surprising amount to tell where I'm actually aiming. I don't think I would have thought of that as a solution to that problem. Now you're into some classic ratchet gameplay. Switching through weapons, yep. flying all over the place, lots of enemies. It is uh, an arena setup more than uh, a normal classic ratchet setup, which kind of makes it feel fresh too. Yeah. Actually, that is, so I will say there is one other light criticism, which I feel kind of bad even mentioning because I... 100% understand why they did it. Uh, is that the enemy variety in this game is a little sparse. You do see a lot of the same enemies. Yeah, they carry a lot of them over across the levels. Like, you have the these robots, you have the thugs, and there are some unique enemies that sort of show up, but a lot of it is sort of, um, you know, seeing the same enemies over and over and over again. Which, again, I get it 100%. Like, yeah. it's a smart way to make the game. You have to choose what to focus on. Yeah. And, like, in, in the early Ratchet games, we focused on, like, a big breadth and enemy variety and stuff. But that isn't the only way, I think, to do it. But I agree. I think uh, this definitely falls on the side of, you know, fewer... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think maybe a, maybe a compromise could have been to evolve the enemies a bit more as they reappeared. Like oh, like actually, when we put armor on Like when we did like the stuff where we were putting armor on them, or like even when like the Tyranoids like changed to mech Tyranoids and all that kind of stuff. Like maybe something like that might have been a good compromise. Um, even though that in and itself I'm sure would have been a lot of work on its own. Um, yeah. Maybe that would have been nice, just so it doesn't feel like you're seeing the same guys uh, over and over again. Like the, like I think the too many, like I think they had like too many bosses that you fought, sort of, quite a few times. The robot ones and Grunthor. Yeah, which was fine, but. Uh, yeah, I liked I liked seeing them as bosses and then seeing them as enemies later on. Yeah, it made me feel like I was getting stronger. Yeah. It looks like it looked like a painting for a second. That water is sweet. Yeah. That's some sweet water. Definitely got water envy. Someone call for backup? It's Shadow Dude. Thanks for the save. Kit, are you give us a minute? We'll meet you at the ship. I do love that Clank's been broke in this whole game. Clank told me I should try to <laughs> No one has made one effort. I, um... I am going back to Zavali. I never should have... Wait! You're just gonna hide again? Now? I am very... Truly, I am sorry, Rivet. For everything. I... I am not a good partner. Well, maybe you could be. If you'd stopped to help me that night instead of running away, things could have been different. Or if you just told the truth, maybe... Why do none of you understand? I am broken. 
I will always be broken. Fine. Go hide. We have a universe to save. Yeah. Universes, whatever. I don't need a partner anyway. Yeah, you do. Wait, where's Kit? She's not coming. But... He's got plank on his lap like a little baby. Yeah. Back to Zerkies. Kit should be here. She didn't want to be. Only because she thinks she's dangerous. And maybe she is. So you're just going to give up on her because you're afraid? Says the big hero who's too scared to look for the other Lombaxes? At least my fear makes sense. Sorry. Sorry. I... Sorry. Skid is committed to that helmet. <laughs> 